So just to pause on that for a second, so not many vehicles in the United States are coming with LFP currently. <clears throat> the old Tesla Model 3 in 2023 and 2024 did come with it, and their Rivian seems to be moving over to that chemistry. That LFP refers to lithium iron phosphate. It's the chemistry within the battery cells. So just for reference, like a normal NMC or like other types of battery, lithium ion batteries tend to have cobalt, nickel, all these other rare earth metals. LFP has less of those. The other thing that it means is the cycle counts are increased from five to 800 with like a, a typical battery. So now you're getting like two to 3,500 depending on the exact chemistry and how they're utilizing it. But you're literally doubling or tripling the cycle count um, that doesn't mean that battery, battery degradation goes away. It just means that you're gonna have that battery for a lot longer. And that's really exciting to see. The cost goes down, the rare earth minerals go down, and we get a, a, hopefully a, a longer lasting product. Yes. I think though with LFP, it has worse winter performance, but one thing they did add is they finally added a heat pump to the Chevy Volt, which is so nice. If you guys have a Chevy Volt like me, you know that in the winter you're <laughs> your range goes from the stated 250 to 260 miles down to like 150, just because that resist resistive heater uses like six or seven kilowatts just to heat up the cabin. That's a big toaster. 